Hi, this is James Gill with Gill Nursery. The lawn problem we're going to talk about today is brown patch fungus, also known as large patch fungus. You see green grass out surrounding it, and then there's this frontal zone that's showing some yellow and some almost kind of rusty reddish. It's a very subtle color variation. But here's an individual blade. You grab it and you pull and it doesn't snap off. Instead, it just slides loose. If you look at this tip, the edges are tattered, shredded. Then that rusty reddish color, then yellow, then it's green in the middle. And then the bottom is going to look mushy and rotted like celery that's been in the fridge for a month and a half. And that's because this is where the fungus attacks, is down at the base. Here's another shot trying to get you to recognize what that infected grass looks like. And once again, slides loose, reddish brown on the top, green in the middle, mushy and rotted at the base. It does grow in a patch pattern. This is not as distinct as it gets at some times, but it's easiest to see when the lawn hasn't been mowed for a while. Brown patch fungus typically starts to show up in November when we have cool nights and moisture presence. That could be from overwatering with your sprinkler system, but also things you can't control like rain or mist or even just condensation on the grass at night. Now brown patch doesn't kill the grass, it just kills the individual blades. The roots and runners are still healthy. It doesn't look very good and you can get a little incursion of weeds because you have less density to the lawn, but it'll come back in spring about two weeks later than lawns that haven't been affected. If you want to try to control it, uh, some of the things you can do, you can spray the mower deck and the wheels of your mower with a 10% Clorox solution and have your yard man do that if he's coming in from other lawns to try to prevent uh, spread of spores or if you're mowing your own lawn, you can just make sure that you mow the, the uh, infected area last instead of going through an infected area first and then tracking it across the lawn. But there's still going to be some spores that blow in and may get started, although it's more likely to spread by a mower. You can't cure the fungus, but you can halt it temporarily by these two chemicals that I'm showing, Fertilome F-Stop and Fertilome Liquid Fungicide. Uh, the liquid, you just hook it on the hose, spray the spot, spray the edge of the spot, spray on out a couple of feet beyond the edge of the spot, and that will protect that grass for a period of about a week, more or less, before the chemical breaks down. Uh, if you're applying the granules, I recommend that you water the grass very lightly just to wet it, sprinkle the granules, <laughs> that wetting will cause them to stick to the blades, then water just extremely lightly again just to kind of wash it down to the bottom of the blade because that's where the disease occurs. You don't want the granules going all the way to the soil because that's not where your problem is. If you want to control it, you have to really say that you're going to check it every week and every time a new spot shows up, kind of like a grass fire, uh, every time a new spot shows up, douse it with the chemical and the surrounding area, but not the whole lawn. And if you have any more questions on this or any other lawn or garden questions, please come in to either our stores, uh, Gill Nursery 2810 Airline or 4441 South Alameda, and we would love to help you solve your lawn problems.